The 1930s marked Britain's largest and most profound economic depression of the 20th century. On the 3rd of September 1939, Britain declared war on Germany and this saw mass enlistment. The early 1930s saw a boom in the development of synthetic plastics, which would open up a wealth of possibilities in many future UK industries. Eminent surgeons were beginning to explore and develop the art of plastic surgery and facial reconstruction prosthesis. The decade saw the company producing a host of vital new products for the ophthalmic profession, including the development of the first Synoptophore. The first models were named the Royal Westminster and the Moorfields, which were launched in the UK in 1931. 1934 saw a diversification from optical products and the first attempt at facial restoration was made in Wigmore Street. Although initially constructed in crude silver-plated copper, the company obtained the rights to use a more suitable gelatinous compound material. Success and requests from the medical profession followed. As a result, the prosthesis department was formed. After collaboration with the Royal Marsden Hospital, the company began producing first-class plastic contact lenses in 1935. These would mainly be used for service personnel, such as night fighter pilots during the Second World War. In 1937, Allied Instrument Manufacturers, or AIM, was founded. This was a joint manufacturing venture between Clement Clark Limited, Dixie's, Alfred Hawes and Curry and Paxton. The pooled resources allowed the companies to work from a fully equipped factory, enabling improved manufacture of devices. After war was declared, the supply of German-made glass artificial eyes ceased. Research immediately commenced to find a substitute for them, which resulted in the company experimenting and developing the first plastic artificial eye, made from acrylic resin.